Lime scale. Hard water stains. Calcium deposits. Basically, in your toilet bowl, the part where the water is at the bottom, if you get these brown, nasty stains, and it's not poop, it's something called lime scale. Now, it's pretty nasty, and a lot of people they're gonna they're gonna try and get rid of it with different kinds of acids, really nasty stuff, hydrochloric acid, boric acid. I saw a video of brick acid, and they're like screaming the whole time, like put on goggles and don't breathe and it's bad. So I don't really like dealing with that stuff. There's natural solutions for this stuff. And that's what I'm gonna to talk to you about today. So this is what we're talking about, lime scale. And to get it off, what we're gonna use is vinegar or baking soda, or in a surprise twist at the end of the video, vinegar and baking soda. Now both of them are all natural and safe for a septic system. Some people will tell you you can use citric acid, which is natural, but you do not wanna put it in a septic system it'll wreck stuff. Using vinegar to remove nasty hard water stains. Now when you're using vinegar, people are gonna tell you that you need to drain out all the water from your toilet. You use a little cup or a towel or even a shop vac. The reason they want you to do this is because the water that's in your toilet is gonna dilute the vinegar that you pour in there. I've got a pretty easy solution which is just to dump a whole bunch of vinegar. Don't be shy. I'm putting a whole liter right in there. Look at that, there we go. And then I'm gonna let that sit for as long as possible. Overnight, if you can. Okay, this has been sitting for about 15 hours. So let's go ahead, see what we got now. Stain is still there, we can see it. Let's see if the vinegar has loosened it up at all. I'm gonna brush it out a little bit. Get down in there. It looks like the water's getting kinda of yellow. Looks like some of that's coming off into the water. Give it a flush. Let's see what we're dealing with. Oh wow, that did pretty good. Yeah, I wasn't actually expecting that hard, that bigger stain in the middle to completely come off, but it looks like it did. So there we go. Removing line scale with baking soda. So the other natural solution that we've got is baking soda or soda crystals, which is what I've got here. They're pretty much the same. Now. When you do this, most people are gonna tell you to boil a whole bunch of water, put it in a bucket, and add your soda crystals. Now, that's one thing you could do, but I've got another idea, which is a little more genius. Take the old pot, because what else gets calcium deposits? If you ever leave water in there, these pots, they can get calcium deposits as well, and boiling it out, with baking soda, it's gonna be exactly what you wanna to do to clean out the pot and then your toilet as well. So what you do is you put a whole bunch of baking soda or soda crystals in there, about a, about a half a cup, I'd say. Fill it with water and bring it to a boil. Now I just said to bring it to a boil, but that's actually not necessary. You just need it to get hot. The hot water is gonna dissolve and activate the soda crystals. So I turned it off and now we're gonna take it down and put it to work. Bring it in, just go ahead and dump it all in. And you're gonna to wanna to rinse out the pot 
really well, just water a couple of times before you go back to making tea in it. Now what you can do is you can let this sit 15 minutes, a half hour, an hour if you can. Or if you want to be a little ingenious and add up all the different things we can do, I keep some vinegar, I put it in this less ugly bottle. I keep it right on the toilet. You can go ahead, put some of that in. See it bubbling, just like those volcanoes you made when you were a kid? That's the idea. So now we're gonna leave that for about half an hour. Come in and scrub it out, it should be all done. Now, like I said, I leave this up here. Once you get your toilet clean, the vinegar that you've got here on the top of the toilet is what you're gonna to use to just maintain it so you don't have to do these big, intensive, long scrubs. We leave it overnight. Just what I do is every time I use it, pretty much, after the flush, important, after the flush, you throw in a little bit of vinegar, just like I did, not a ton. I just do that around the sides. And that's enough. So here we go, after about a half an hour, you wanna get in there, and as you, Agitate it around and get more fizzles. Getting the vinegar in with the baking soda. Go all around. Way in the back where that nasty stain was. And once again. And there you have it. A toilet with a nasty hard water stain is all clean. So that is all I've got to say about lime scale hard water stains in your toilet. Now I'm supposed to tell you to like this video, to subscribe to it, and actually uh, I'm supposed to tell you to put comments in, but that actually I actually would like that because uh, I'd like to read them and see what people think about this stuff. Now there's definitely nothing else after this, so you should stop watching the video now. You click the stop thing or go to another page, because there won't be any more of anything. So that's all there is now. Dun, 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 dun. Toilet man, where's your toilet?